boy. Okay, let's see how much I spend in a month as a 24 year old that lives in one of the most expensive cities in America. I'm about to have a panic attack. Not ready. So yeah, a couple months ago, I did a video on how much I spent in a week. And ever since that video, I've gotten so many comments asking me to do what I spend in a month. This video is getting a little personal. Like I'm telling you guys, like my financial like, business which i mean why not <laughs> also disclaimer because money is like a very sensitive topic i feel like i want you to know that i am so thankful and blessed to be in the position i am today i don't want anyone to take this video the wrong way or think i'm bragging or any of that this is just for entertainment purposes and education um and this was just highly requested so i thought it'd be fun and this is just like a youtube trend so i thought i would spill all my financial business on the internet for everyone to see why not I also feel like this video is very interesting because we're currently going through an inflation and prices are just insane right now. So yeah, I don't even know where to start. So I've been keeping track for the past month of what I've been spending. I logged into my bank and I wrote everything. I've also been filming me buying this stuff. So there's gonna be like clips of that stuff, you know? After you watch this video, definitely comment below and let me know how much you guys spend in a month because I am so curious. I love watching these videos and it's really fun to like compare and you know, I don't know. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm not ready. When I was adding this stuff up, I was like, sis. Okay, so I guess let's begin. I don't know. So first I thought we would get into like my base which is like my bills, my mortgage, all that stuff. And then we can get into the stuff that I like bought throughout the month, you know? If we're not besties after this. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with my mortgage payment. I am so thankful that I bought this house in 2016 because the market right now is insane. Like my house has doubled in price since I bought it in 2016, which is amazing. I'm so thankful. So basically with a mortgage, the more money you put down on the house, the less your monthly payments are gonna be. So when I bought this house, I put a big chunk in because I want my monthly payments to be as little as possible. So my monthly mortgage payment is $2,267, which isn't super bad considering I literally live in Seattle, Washington, and it's insane here. Even though that's my monthly mortgage payment, I like to put extra money towards that. So I pay an extra $1,333 a month towards the mortgage because I just wanna pay it off. I don't like having a mortgage and I just wanna like be done with it, you know? So yeah, we paid 3,600 for the mortgage. Um, I can always pay the 2,267, but I just wanna like get the mortgage paid off. I just don't like owing money, you know? Another factor is my boyfriend and I split bills evenly. So we do 50-50, that's just what works for us. Every couple is different, everything. What works for us might not work for you, but we split the bills evenly. So I pay $1,800 for the mortgage and so does he. So that's the first thing, that's like the main, you know? So to start off with 1,800. Next up is car payment. I actually don't have a car payment. Hallelujah, I don't like having a car payment, um, but I do have car insurance, which is $100 a month, but Jalen and I split it, so it's $50. The next bill is our cable and Wi-Fi. We pay extra because we like fast Wi-Fi. It's just more convenient because I work from home and so does Jalen sometimes, so we like the fast Wi-Fi. So we pay $224.77, but split between us, it's $112.38. We get our house deep cleaned each month month and that is $240 and then split between us it's $120. Next bill is our water bill which is $165.77 but split in half it's $82.88. There's so many bills like being an adult is not so fun. I miss the days that I was a teenager and a child because being an adult I feel like I'll literally breathe and I'm like spending money you know what I mean like that costs money. Next bill is our trash bill which is $43 a month which isn't too bad and split in half it's $21.50. Next bill is our energy bill which is $160 and and that in half is $80. And then our last like house bill is our utility bill, which is $97 a month and split in half, it's $48.50. So that's like our base chunk 
of money is like house bills and the mortgage and stuff. So the total for that is $4,630.54. But since Jalen and I split everything, the total for me is $2,315.27. That shit adds up. It costs so much money to live. Like, can we go back to the 1920s? Please I like that TikTok where it's like, I'm about to have a panic attack. I'm having a fucking panic attack right now. I need to calm the fuck down because I'm having a Okay, now we're getting into, I guess, the fun stuff. I don't know. None of it's fun because I'm just losing money. But you gotta spend money to make money. That's the motto. But you gotta be smart with your money. Wait, okay, pause, rewind. I have like a couple more bills. Those were just bills that Jalen and I split in half because it has to do with like the house and you know. I have my Verizon phone bill, which is $106.90. I miss being on my parents' plan because I didn't have to pay for it. I hate being an adult. <laughs> Another thing that is super important to me is I hired a financial advisor and I put a good chunk of money monthly in my 401k, which is my retirement. I like to make sure a chunk of my money monthly comes out because I am my own boss. So for my 401k, which is my retirement plan, I put $1,700 a month to that because when I retire, I just wanna be chilling. I just wanna lay back and just chill. So I just wanna make sure I'm good and I got that money stacked up when I retire, which I feel like I'll never really wanna retire. I feel like I would get bored, but yeah, I put $1,700 $1,500 towards my 401k retirement plan. Um, I can always change that amount if I want to, but that's what I have for now. And then monthly, I also put $1,000 towards the stock market, depending on how the market is doing, or I put it towards mutual funds. It totally depends that month. So $1,700 towards my retirement plan and then $1,000 to like stock and investments and all that, which I'm not mad about because that's my retirement. And I also, with like the stock and stuff or mutual funds, and long run that money could double next up is groceries so for this month we did two grocery trips um we went to Safeway which is our grocery store and we spent $428 this month my boyfriend and I split in half so I spent $214 on that and then we always like switch off on gas but this month we both spent $230 so split in half that's $115 so that's like grocery and gas gas is so expensive like why why Sorry, there's so many numbers in this. Feels like I'm like going through a math class right now and it's... <laughs> Next up, I have a subscription with HelloFresh. You guys know I love HelloFresh. They're a monthly meal service. They're like America's number one top meal subscription service. They're amazing. They oh, they just make my life so much easier. I just love them so much and it saves me so much time and money. So we always get that. And I only spent $20.98, which was three meals for a week for two people, which is such a good deal. So definitely use my code. I just love doing HelloFresh because I save so much money on dinner and I'll be able to splurge on the holiday shopping this year. That's for sure. HelloFresh is actually cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout. So I'll take it. And I also like the fact that HelloFresh is super quick and easy. Like I don't want to spend hours cooking food, you know? So they have quick and easy options like 20 minute meals and easy cleanup recipes that allow you to enjoy good times around the dinner table with loved ones and less time in the kitchen, which Whoop. And also they're super flexible with your schedule. So you can change your plan anytime. You can change your preferences, the delivery day and address in literally a couple clicks. So definitely check them out. So yeah, if you guys are watching this and you wanna save money and time on food and like grocery shopping and just everything, the whole experience, definitely go to hellofresh.com and use my code SRAY70 and you can get 70% off plus free shipping. Such a good deal. So definitely check it out because their food is Amazing. Like I put my whole family on to HelloFresh. Everyone eats HelloFresh in my family. The next thing that I spent money on is Starbucks. I know I have an espresso machine, but if you get it, you get it. And if you don't, you don't. It's just nothing compares, okay? But I'm so proud of myself because I used to spend like a hundred plus dollars on Starbucks a month. And this month, I actually only spent $38.51, which is pretty good for me because past months I've spent like $140. Because if you think about it, for like a Starbucks iced coffee, it's like $5. If you get it every day, five times seven, 35. And then 35 times four weeks is 140. So it just adds up, but this month, $38. 
<laughs> and then this month we didn't actually go out to eat that much. I ended up spending $82 and I ended up getting Chipotle one day, Subway and Teriyaki. Time for dinner. We're gonna get some Chipotle. I got half chicken, half steak. That's good. Honestly, not that bad. The next one is a pretty big expense, but it's for my mental health. It's my personal trainer. I do personal training Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so three times a week. And for one session, it's $90. And for the past month, I've had 13 sessions. So it was $1,288.17, which I know is a lot, but Mentally, it helps me so much and I just like love someone pushing me if that makes sense. So yeah, I feel like it's worth it, but it definitely is expensive. I have seen like trainers in LA, they charge like 200 plus dollars a session. So I'm thankful that mine's like only $90 but it's still really expensive, but health is wealth. Surprisingly, I don't have subscription fees. Um, I am still using my parents' Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, so uh, we love that. <laughs> Thank goodness. So I've been working on my merch drop, which I'm so excited about. My merch comes out on November 18th. So definitely check that out. Follow me on Instagram and the From Sorry Instagram to see updates and stuff. So obviously since I'm coming out with merch, I needed to take some launch pictures and like have a photo shoot in the merch, you know? So I ended up booking this really pretty studio in Seattle, which was $448.95, and that was for three hours there. Kind of expensive, but it was the type of thing that you need to spend money to make money, and I wanted the pictures to turn out really good. So that's how much the studio was to shoot there. I'm super excited for my mental health merch because it is something that means so much to me, and part of the proceeds are actually gonna be going to a mental health organization, so I'm super excited about that and I'm just very passionate about it. So I'm so excited for it to drop November 18th. Yeah, they're super cute. So for that photo shoot, I bought some things on Amazon. They were kind of like props and stuff, but this past month I haven't bought that much stuff on Amazon, which praise the Lord. Okay, so for the shoot props, I spent $33.77 for two pairs of sunglasses that Jalen and I wore. And then I ended up making another order because I found another pair of sunglasses that I liked. And then I ordered three pairs of white sweatpants, which that total was $67.78. And then I made another order because I kept thinking of things. And I bought a sunset lamp, you know, those like cool ones. Um, and that was $19.81. So the total for that was $121.36 at Amazon. Not bad for the month. Like I feel like people like spend thousands on Amazon. Oh my gosh, when does it end? Um, next thing, which is essential, it's Benji's food, which is my dog and he gets the farmer's dog. I just started that subscription because I've heard so many good things about it. So I spent $31.50 on that. Um, it's super cheap this month because it's my first month and you get it like super discounted. So I don't know how much it's gonna be in the future, but it was $31.50 this month. Not bad at all. Now on to like the random stuff that I just bought, which was this Stanley cup because I saw it on TikTok and it's been going viral. It definitely does live up to its hype. I'm obsessed. I got the rose quartz one. Um, It fits in your car like cup holder, which is amazing. So this tumbler is $40 plus shipping in tax. So the total was $51.69. I think it's worth it. Plus it helps me drink a lot more water. Like next thing is I made a Fashion Nova order because I really needed some like fall winter boots. So I ordered three pairs of boots, two lip glosses, which I have them right here. Um, and two sets of Christmas pajamas and that total was $158.51. I had a really good discount code that I used. So I feel like that was pretty good for all that stuff. I think that's everything. <laughs> Holy shiz. I need to add this all up. So the first chunk, which was like the home and like bills and stuff, that's 23, 15, 27. And then the stuff that I listed, all of the other stuff, like my 401k, like all that other stuff, that is $5,377.40. So everything combined, I'm gonna have a freaking panic attack. I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh my God, how? So this month, I hope I don't get any hate on this. Like I am just being honest. So this month I spent $7,692.67, but 
If we don't count my 401k, which is my retirement, I basically spent $5,992.67. I don't really, I don't know. Thoughts are, that's a lot of money. But at the same time, like 2,300 of that is like the house and uh, bills and stuff, which is insane. My gosh, just makes me sick. I've seen some people's like what I spend in a day videos and some of these people spend that in a day so i don't know it is a lot of money i'm super blessed and fortunate that i'm able to like support myself and you know i don't know i just ugh. i want you to know that i would not be where i am today without you guys and i'm so thankful for each and every one of you guys you don't even know i'm gonna have a heart attack at that total but okay me trying to justify everything a lot of the chunks of the pie. I'm trying to think of it as like a graph. The main thing is the house and bills, which I can't get out of. My mental health personal training session, my 401k retirement, and my investments. That's like the main chunks of like where my money goes, which I don't think is horrible. And I don't think I spent that much money on like extra stuff you know what i mean like i feel like i'm pretty good with it and i always make sure that i save a lot of money yeah i'm really hoping that this video doesn't come off the wrong way i'm not bragging in any way shape or form there's nothing to brag like that total makes me sick it's so expensive to live like you're literally breathing and like you get charged ten dollars that was my total um i don't want to think about how much i spend in a year we're not gonna do that that's gonna take too long and i might have a heart attack after that but yeah please comment below and comment how much you guys make in a month and like the breakdown because i really want to know i'm nosy i want to know give me all the tea i hope you guys enjoyed watching and took this as like more of like an educational entertainment thing of like how much someone spends living in seattle okay well highly recommend getting a stanley cup not sponsored again i just did this video because it was highly requested okay yeah i just don't want anyone to okay <laughs> i need to go i love you guys and i will see you in my next video bye guys